Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Now, I did put the beginning of this pour up a day or so ago and I did show you the end results of this particular part of the pour and it looked absolutely great monochromatic but if anybody that knows me that pours um, I really wanted to add some colour to it so this is my part two but I am just briefly showing you I've spun it through a bit quicker how I got my background for it so you can absolutely leave it monochromatic or um, with negative space as I do here it looks absolutely fine so I did explain in the previous video that the only thing different I added to those black and white colour was the global, um, it's called global medium and gloss. I just give a good squirt in the black and the white tubs that you see me use in the paint. And what it seemed to create by accident was the pearls in my paint, as you see there. So, um, it got the pearls going in the paint, which looked quite uh, like starry nightish. So I get through this bit of just doing the monochromatic bit, and I'll speed it through for those that have seen and those that haven't seen and would like to see the finished and more detailed, then I will link it in the drop down box or the first comment, but we'll move on to the second stage. Yes, as you see, it's perfectly fine as it was, but I want to go to the next stage and add what I believe makes it a Jilly Q piece of art. And I need to add some color to it for, for myself. So if I was doing this for somebody else and they wanted it monochromatic, then absolutely leave it. But I wanted to push the boundaries and see what I could do to add some color to this. So I'm doing those little puddle pours one is the uh, cool red and a white and then that is a nice bright orange so i'll just put all my colors as you see and of course i will add a little bit of color in there a little bit of um, brightness with that turquoise which is nice and then what i'm going to do is as my cell activator as they call it just to put on top a little bit of the uh, paint with Australian Floetrol added. So I'll let you just watch this evolve and um, watch the magic happen. So I added a nice bright yellow there, and then that was my black, was the black with Floetrol in it, black paint, acrylic paint with Floetrol added. And I'm just gonna blow this out just with my uh, silicon bendy straw. And already when I see those colors in that black and white, it just makes me happy because I just love the color in it. I know I'll get comments, oh, you ruined it. But you remember your art, your rules, your way. I absolutely love my bling, bling of colour, should I call it. But anyway, you um, keep following because I do completely change it again. Um, I think that look is absolutely great. And I will do it again with a different background. But I wanted to push it on a little bit further and you'll see how. See, 
blooms in the universe uh, floating there. Really like it. Added a pop of colour. I think it looks super duper. But I definitely will be changing it again. And I think after this I'm going to grab my... Ooh, what do they call them? It, it's like a, a Nitty Nora Bug Explorer comb. But anyway, I'll show you what this piece uh, looks like on the wall. See, you beaut super duper, but I decide to push on with it. As you can see there, I'm going to use kind of a catalyst wedge. Um, I think it's a, 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 a bug, a knitty Nora, a knit comb, I think I use on it next. But um, yeah, keep watching. So, oh, it isn't, it isn't a knit comb. It's kind of like a, um, what would you say that was? I think they use it like it for plaster and things. But I just wanted to see what effect it did. Um, and yeah, I was thinking at this point, oh, I've ruined it all. But you know what? You have to do these things. That's how new things are discovered. So um, the artists that do do these things ch change it up or change it down. And, and sometimes they definitely don't work. But that's how you, you know, come across new, new ideas or new looks, uh, new techniques. So I thought, what better now at this point in time and just add in this deflated balloon that I was just about to bin. But look at the absolute gorgeous balloon kiss I got from that one. And yes, you can put it on cardstock and make your own Christmas cards or whatever, or another canvas. So I'm just going to do a few of those to really add this... Um, bling to this black and white so have a look see and let me know what you think Well, there you go. It actually looks very, very nice. I am waiting for it to fully dry, which it almost is now. And I think I'm going to put a coat of resin on it with the dragonfly glaze in my resin to give it that extra sparkle because it turned out beautiful, really. I love it. So I'm happy I pushed on. Um, let me know what you think. Would you give this a go? Or is it a yay or a nay? It's all good, all good fun. Enjoy your day, people, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.